need, and you easily have some of the best photos and videos inside of a big league clubhouse. You ready to take a look at some of the top ones? Sure. All right, baby, let's do it. <laughs> the feed is brought to you by Untuck It, shirts designed to be worn untucked. Visit untuckit.com. First one, this is awesome. Oh, so with the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> nurse sharks, so we're good. So a lot of people that don't know, it's nurse sharks. They don't, they don't bite. They don't have teeth. All they do is suck. And this is back at home? No, this is in the Bahamas. Okay. This is 2017. Man, and check out all those fish swimming around too. Yeah. So they don't say it's fake, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. So you also go snorkeling a lot. Yep. And you take the camera down under the water. Yeah, this is Curacao. Swimming with girlfriends, friends, and a lot of people. I think I just got a GoPro right here, so that's why I decided to check it out, the new one. Now, when you go under the water, how long are you staying there for? It all depends. I don't know, I haven't checked how long I've stayed, like the longest on there, but I can stay probably a while after I take that, some good bread in. You mentioned oh, how you brought the GoPro under the water. Yeah, this, this is, one was sweet. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is the 360 fly. I got it, I got it on my drone, and I decided to uh, do something different with it, and that came out. Well, yeah, it came out actually pretty good. I didn't know it was on the water until I threw it on the water, so <laughs> I tried it out that way. And what's our boy doing right there? Well, he's actually looking for uh, shark teeth. Oh. So, yeah, so like the small ones. We ended up finding, I think, 20, 20 small ones in there, so it's a uh, good deal. We had nothing to do, and we decided to just go out and do something different. Cool, nice little yeah. collection. Yeah. All right, so we mentioned all these angles. Man, you even brought the drone out onto the water. <laughs> you got the huge yacht. Yeah. And the jet ski, this is awesome. Yeah, so this is also Bahamas. It's the same clip as before. This is actually a couple hours before the shark swimming. So you rent out the yacht and then you get jet skis, paddle boards, you get like a bunch of stuff with it. So you get personal chefs and everything on there. So it's actually pretty fun. This will make anybody want to go to the beach. Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Which, this is a mood right here. <laughs> Uh, I think that was last year, I think. I think it was 2018. Yeah, I just sit in the pool, just waiting. I don't know how you kept a straight face. Oh, man, you hold your bed and go underwater, sit down. <laughs> and above it, too, you look really good, too. Yeah, Another this, mood. Yeah, this is CC's party. This is 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Everybody just on the side, you know, and I was like, well, I'm going in. I, I saw the photo, I was like, I'm going to be the first guy in. And after that, it was a couple people that jumped in. You'd be chilling on the cherries. <laughs> All right, so you uh, have so many different talents. <laughs> and this uh, is definitely one of them. Yeah. Not just creating the video, but editing the video as well. Yeah. And this is on Halloween. Yeah, this is, this is Halloween right here. Decided to go as Ant-Man. Tried my best. It's actually my first time putting like something all together and post it on uh, Instagram for Halloween. So. Uh, it actually came out pretty good for the first time, so it was uh, pretty fun. Yep. Got it. This is this gonna work. It's supposed to turn into an ant. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you ended in the tub. <laughs> And you also love other things and other hobbies, yeah. like this golf right here, which you had started learning not all too long ago. Yeah, it's been what, two years now? Yep. It's only in the off season, so I only get like three months of playing time, and I still don't go every day, but even though I should go every day, because it's like 86 all year round in Curacao. And uh, this is at the Blueberry Resort where we stay at. This was after like went and work out in the morning and then came back and played golf. Now, not from you, but just from all the golfers, I'm curious to know how many balls are sitting in that ocean floor right there. <laughs> that's, that's a difficult There's, shot. It, it's, <laughs> you, get, you get the thumbs up. I get the thumbs up. Made I, did, I made it on the first <laughs> try, which I was happy because normally I hit it right in the water. There's a bunch of balls in there. For me, there's way more. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best of us. And uh, here you are. This is New Zealand. You're this, going zip lining. Yeah. No, this is. Right? No, this is Costa Rica. This, this is, is Costa last Rica. Year. You did it in New Zealand, though, too, right? Yeah, Did I did it in New Zealand, too. Wait, okay. let me see. Let me see if it's, if it's right, because I think this is Costa Rica. That's how we know you're an active man. We're trying to figure out where exactly you were zip lining in here in two totally different yeah. spots. This is. Yeah, this is Costa Rica. All right. It was so last Costa year after, after the surgery. So, so people that freaked out <laughs> on Instagram when I posted this. 
this was a month after and as you can see I'm holding my phone with the arm that's in the brace and I'm holding <laughs> with my left hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why we do this to give more context yeah. to the videos and photos. So I had a bunch of comments that people went off on me. How am I ziplining? Why am I ziplining? But they don't see that I'm, like I'm in the harness all the way, and I'm holding the uh, the zipline there with my left hand. But but yeah, well, way to set the record straight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so people can get it. <laughs> Let's go back to spring training. This is 16. Yes, I think. Yeah. The shoot that we had yourself, Carlos Beltran. Yeah. And this was a unique situation because this is you showing tips and teaching, teaching a veteran. Yeah. So vice versa, vice with the skill that yeah. you know and somebody yeah. who obviously did that on the baseball field, but this was a memorable day. You know, he told me that he started drawing, you know, with his artists and everything, so it's, uh, it's uh, something pretty cool. And uh, we exchanged some tips about drawing and get more into details. This is what I do when I draw. I put way too many details in there, but uh, it's, it's something great. Comes out awesome. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> DJ DD. <laughs> This is the 80s event at Beltron's charity day. Mm -hmm. This is what we had, and then I went, he's like, oh, it's, it's the 80s, you can come whatever you want. And I already had the flat top, so I was like, well, I might as well just bring glasses with the headphones. So uh, it ended up being actually a pretty fun night. See, look, you guys wash each other's hands. Good teammates, good teammates. <laughs> and from the Netherlands, there's a lot of really good DJs. Yeah. So three DJs off the top of your head. What would be on that cassette right there? On that cassette right yep. there? What you got? I go with Skrillex, Avicii, and somebody from the house. I don't know, I can't remember another name. This guy's got good taste. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're coming down the home stretch, and here yeah. you are, dressed in a nice suit. You put it together really well off yeah. the field. Yeah, yeah this is the uh, Indochino commercial that actually we did. They told me, hey, bring a suit or whatever you want. And I already had a bunch of Indochino uh, suits, so I decided to wear it for that commercial and surprise people like, Hey, I'm just trying to help you with all your stuff. With my glasses on. Apparently, when I put glasses on, they don't know it's me, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Kind of like this one. Yeah, <laughs> so I had the glasses on, so they didn't recognize me until I took the glasses off, so I looked like Superman for a second right there. <laughs> so when will this next item be added to the outfit or seen inside this clubhouse as a home run chain? Uh, when will it happen? We've seen it in some clubhouse <laughs> there, locker so far. Nah, I don't really wear this to the field, you know. This is not something you play in, so mm. it's nice stash. I have it though, it's nice stash. Yeah. I don't wear it all the time, just keep it simple. I could see it's something like the home run chain though, kind of like how the White Sox had, turnover chain hurricanes, right? Yeah. This is a small one though, that's not as big as people think. It's probably like this big. All right, so we'll so. work on getting you a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, your mom. Uh, yeah. Is this where you get your speed from? She is still flying. You know what's funny, because I've been running with this, and she's like, oh, you just running, blah, blah, blah. So I can do it. I was like, all right, go ahead. And she actually went and ran. So, so they're building a hospital on this side right here. And uh, she was like running. And my trainer goes, just keep going. Just run all the way to the door, get to the hospital. You're fine. If something happens, you'll be right over anyway. So it was actually a pretty fun day. And here oh, she is. is my mom. <laughs> Still getting after it. So she runs, she hits. She's yeah. even on the Netherlands and softball team. Softball back team. In the day. She was here on CC's event playing. She went one for one, one for one here. So it's actually pretty cool. So she reps the family well, and so does your dad. dad. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's cool. He looks like a ball player. Oh yeah, he pitched professionally in the Netherlands for a long time. Mm -hmm. So uh, he runs in the jeans, I guess. Will we ever see you pitch? Think. No, no, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I'll go, probably not. No, you're right. <laughs> All right, so not only does it run your family yeah, it's in the history, nephew. but dude, you got some more on the way. There's another DD coming. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my nephew just hitting uh, line drives and awful homers on this one. Yep, I remember the video. But yeah. And you give some cool angles of yourself. Yeah. So we showed the rest of the family, so we got to show you some love <laughs> at some part with some of your own. Yeah, this is my camera glasses that I wear. People don't really know, so until now. But, they should uh, do this more often in broadcast. This, I'm not gonna lie, this like, I don't know if you do want to do it in broadcast, but this, this like helps me where I look when I'm hitting, so uh, 
Once I figured out like where am I looking, what I have to change, it kind of made me a better hitter and see like, okay, this is where you have to be looking all the time if you want to be doing right all the time. You know, you still got to make adjustments, but it's, it's, it's fun stuff. It's really cool how you find a lesson in everything that you do. I mean, right? you, never, you never stop learning, so yeah. that's one thing. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> and also, too, here's yeah, the video of the too. judge. Yeah, this illegal is why I always swing. say, I don't know if we have the voice on here, but I said it was illegal swing. Illegal <laughs> it was hitting swing. the ball too far. <laughs> and what's funny, too, is that you're obviously like... Yeah, I look around to see where plan. it's at. Yeah, you know, you got to look around. And you also got to get ready for the next one. You don't want to get hit. Imagine pitching against him. Yeah, I know. Probably won't be too fun. Ooh. <laughs> and you also have it going on inside the clubhouse. Yeah. Can't do much inside because there's rules. But I show what I can. And it's a, it's a pretty fun moment when people get to see this side of baseball too, not just what goes on on the field. You're the go-to guy inside the clubhouse for anything post-game related, I feel. <laughs> and we're going to wrap up with these photos all right. that you've taken. And these are all really beautiful. This one sticks out. You always deliver a different perspective in anything yes, that I, seems I, like I try you to do. change everything. And dude, you got the sea foam in there. Yeah. With the sunset. Because uh, there's some more pictures on, on the same day too. I was shooting like sunset, 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 and then I changed it because everybody shoots sunset. You know, I wanted to do something different. And you got the foam. Not everybody thinks about, oh, let me get that low to get the foam and the sunset in the back. So that's why I did that. Dude, one day you're gonna have an exhibit, a gallery, <laughs> something, but that's a cool goal, and I feel like that's yeah. something that you might set. I might, I might, but we gotta see how everything plays out first, you know, one step at a time. So we see all these fun posts, you do a lot of fun things, and you're always looking to learn. Uh, what is it about Instagram that you love most? Because you show the fans a lot. I mean, it's a different perspective, you know, people see things different, all they see, we play baseball, and then that's it, but we have a private life, and we have a life that we can show people on Instagram. That's why I try to tell a lot of guys that you don't have to post everything because mm -hmm. you don't want people to know everything about you. There's some stuff that needs to stay personal and that's, that's how you gotta go by it. And for me, I post stuff on Instagram but it's mostly about somebody else instead of me. Like if I post something, sometimes you see me, but it's mostly nature, other people. I barely post about family too because mm -hmm. personal stuff. But it's what you want people to see. Because that's the platform you can control. That's Dude. how I go by it. It's a great answer. Yeah, wow. Shoot. So, not that you need a plug, but now, <laughs> now's the time for the plug. I mean, something different. I, I always try to bring something different that people don't get to see every day. And that's, that's I won't say they should follow me, but if they want to follow, they can follow. Like, I'm not going to force you to follow me. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. It's on your phone, it's on the computer, it's wherever you go. You hit the follow button if you want. If not, it doesn't matter. But so, for me, it's just it's more what I bring, what I post to bring positive stuff and then, you know, get excited and stuff, like all that type of stuff mixed in into my Instagram. I don't want to stick at just one thing, just add a lot of diversity in. Right. Well, shoot, I'll do it for you. Make sure you check him out, give him a follow. He's got a lot of fun stuff on the way. <laughs>